Here at Kirby Morgan, we're always working on ways to improve our products, whether it be the production procedures, uh, the processes, or machining, or improvements to the, uh, the design of some of the parts. And today I want to show everybody the latest product that we've come out with. It's called the Bump Guard. And it's made to fit on the Kirby Morgan M48 Mod 1 and Mod 1 surface supply. The shell is hand laid fiberglass, gel coated on the outside. It uses carbon fiber. Uh, the shell will be available initially in yellow, black, and orange. All the parts on here are CNC machined, the bracket on the back. The fork on the front is laser cut and has a barrel finish to it and it's marked with a laser mark on the outside. The inside has a foam buffer that's used as a, a bump, part of the bump guard protection system. There are, are six grommets that hold the foam inside. It's very easy to replace the foam. You just pop it off of the grommet and pop a new piece of foam on there. The grommets also act as a cushion. I don't know if you can see it, but they flex. So when the shell gets hit, the foam collapses as well as the grommet collapses. The foam is a quick drain foam. So it absorbs water quickly and it also gives off water quickly. So when it takes a hit, the water acts as a hydraulic cushion as part of the, part of the system. Once the brackets are attached to the mask, you've got the front bracket and then the strap on the back that retains the back of the shell. It's really simple to put the shell on in place. The, the fork comes down, goes through the bracket, and as you hinge it down, the two fingers on the front of the fork protrude through the bracket. To, to keep it from coming off. And then once the strap is put on the back, it holds it tightly against your head. The fit of the shell is very, very good to the diver because um, the original design came from a scan, a laser scan that we did to the mask with, a, with the hood on it. And then we carried the surfaces from that out to the shell. So this is basically a, almost a perfect offset of the diver's head with a hood on. So when the thing is retained on your head, you don't really feel any, any uh, extreme pressure in any particular area. It's very, very even. As you see on the bracket, there are a series of slots in the top, as well as tabs on both sides that are drilled and tapped with a 1024 thread. If you'd like, you could drill through the shell itself. It won't hurt anything. You could drill it pretty much anywhere you want. There are flats here, here, but they're all designed to point whatever device you put on here in the proper direction. So if you were to mount a light on here, the light beam would be about three feet in front of your face, right where your hands would be. So it's, it's in the working spot. Same thing with the top. All the angles are nominal for, for a working position in front of the diver.